Okay, we are actually going to start standing today. So let's just take our feet about hip width apart and go ahead and ground those feet into the mat. Now, before we do anything, let's just think of pulling our shoulders down and back a little bit. We're going to loosen our fingers, loosen our toes, kind of wiggle them. And let's start at the top of our head and go down this time now that I talked about our feet. So let's think of our head and we're just going to try to relax our jaw. Relax your cheeks, if that makes sense. Just relax. So I can't do it and keep talking, but you can. <laughs> so I might not be good at demoing, but I just want you to kind of open your mouth, let your chin drop. Just let your um, whole face just relax, taking the tension out right there. Good. Just breathe. Uh, okay, now let's move down into the neck a little bit. And we're just going to uh, loosen up our neck. So we're just going to take our head side to side right here. Side to side. With each time you turn, see if you can gently increase that range of motion. Going just a little bit further every time. Good. So good. Yep. Taking it over and over. Now we're going to take that ear to shoulder. So when I take my ear to shoulder, my opposite shoulder wants to raise up. I have to think to intentionally push it down. Keep the head going straight to the side and take it to the other side. Pushing that other shoulder down. Now let's do that again. Over and over. You're going to add a little extra push. So take your ear to shoulder, take that opposite hand, and just push away. It's like you're taking your stress, moving it away from your body. Now we'll drop that chin down to the chest, relax the shoulders, take the head to the other side, ear to shoulder, and push away with the opposite hand. Bring it back to center. We're going to do that one more time. Ear to shoulder. This time when you push away, I want you to try to slightly turn your visual up to the ceiling while still keeping that space between your ears and shoulders. Visual up and release. One more time. Other way, looking up, pushing out. From the body, lengthening your neck, good, and bring it back. Okay, we're going to go to the shoulders. Let's just round those shoulders back. Nice big circles. As you bring them to the back, squeeze those shoulder blades together. And as you take them forward, we're going to go forward. I want you to intentionally give me that rounded move. When you're doing that rounded move, Keep your abs in, keep your body nice and still and just round. Good, now just up and down with those shoulders. Pull up, press down, do it again. Pull up, press down one more time. Up and down, relax that body again. We're gonna move right into our center of our body. So none of us will know what's really happening here except you. So I want you to pull those abs in nice and tight. And as you do, just have very slight tilt. So you can't really see it happening, but I pull in and I very slight tuck under. And then release it. Let's do that again. Pull in, tuck under, keep those shoulders drop as you do. And release. One more time, pull the abs in first, slightly tuck the hips under, feel your glutes, squeeze and engage as you do, and release. All right, we're going to put a little more tension in the hips, into the thighs, so I'm just kind of calling body awareness to these areas. So squeeze your butt cheeks as tight as you can, squeeze your glutes in toward each other, and take the top of those thighs and squeeze them in as well. Lots of tension right there. Breathe while you do that and release. 
All right, let's do that again. Squeeze nice and tight. Squeeze the thighs in as tight as you can. And release. We're gonna do that one more time. This time, as you're taking your squeeze, go ahead and take an inhale nose. Squeeze nice and tight, hold and exhale mouth. And release. Now just shake out those knees. And we're working down into the feet. I want you to pick one foot up at a time and try to go up to the top of the toes. Now let's take our feet and just kind of open them and turn them in. So we're gonna do some E version and N version. Yep, that's good. It's kind of rotating through the sides of the feet. Feet obviously are the very base of our support. We take them for granted. Now let's take one foot up at a time, one and then the other. Maybe go a little higher up and down on your toes as you do that. Good. Now let's take those toes, tuck under and under. Good. All right. Plant those toes again. We're going to take our first big inhale, drawing our breath all the way in. Inhale, nose. And exhale, mouth. Good. We've taken out extra tension in that body, so we're ready to start moving a little bit. We're going to do three of these inhale, exhales. Do one more big one. Inhale, nose. Exhale, mouth. Now on the next one, when you take your big inhale, you're just going to take your exhale and forward fold. Starting to loosen up that lower back a little bit. Let your head be heavy right here. So I want you just to shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Relax the shoulders and we'll come right back up. All the way up nice and tall. Grab a wrist. And let's pull over to the side. Nice and far. Inhale. Exhale, other way. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Looking at your knees, we're going to go right back through that. Pick it all the way back up. We'll pick up our pace slightly. Grab a wrist. Always exhaling as you um, fold. And inhaling as you open up that body. Now on the next one, we're going to add on, so bring it back up, inhale up, grab a wrist, pull to the side, we'll go to the other side, and then we're going to take our slight back, and putting our hands on our hips behind us, and taking your slight stretch back. As you do this, activate those glutes that we just called into place. Now bring it right back up, inhale up, exhale forward, fold. We'll go through that again. Take your big inhale, grab a wrist, pull to the side. Inhale, exhale to the other side. Inhale, hands on hips, take your back bend. Inhale up, exhale, forward fold. From here, we're gonna take those hands right above our knees, flat tabletop, and put a little stress into the hamstrings right here. Good, your knees can be bent, your back is flat. Pull your shoulders back and take it back down. All right, going through that again, take your big inhale, grab a wrist, exhale, pull over, goes to the other side. On this back bend, if you feel good, you can just grab a thumb, squeeze your glutes and thighs, and take a bigger stretch. Or you can stay with those hands on the hips. Take it back down in front again, lift it up. Right here, flat back, right back down, lift up tall. We're going to add on, grab a wrist. Pull over, inhale, exhale to the other side. Inhale, squeeze the glutes, take your back bend wherever you want with your arms. Inhale up, exhale, forward fold. Coming to your tabletop, hands above the knees, taking it right back down. Now this time when you come up, we're gonna inhale and we're gonna exhale into a chair pose right here. So a little tension muscular tension. Good job sitting back right there. So let's lift up with the arms, but drop the shoulders. So you want to lift up and then push down. 
All right, right here in this prayer pose, I mean, a chair pose. <laughs> I need to go to a prayer pose, which we are in a moment, actually. Um, we're just holding here, taking a few breaths, but we're going to inhale up again, exhale forward, fold. All right, we're going to through that. Take your big inhale, grab your wrist, pull over, go into the other side, inhale, exhale, pull, right back up, inhale, back bend, take your forward fold. Hands above the knees, tabletop, good. Taking it right back down. Inhale up and exhale in the chair pose again. Sitting back, holding there. Good, great for the core, great for the legs. Now we're gonna come up out of our chair pose, reach up, go into praying hands, and we're gonna add a rotation back into that chair pose, but drop one elbow above one knee on the thigh and lift right back up, stretching high and drop the other one down right here. Good, that looks awesome. Right back up, stretching up. We're gonna go through that again. Inhale, exhale down to your toes, bring it back up, inhale up, grab your wrist, pull over. Inhale, exhale, other side. Back bend, inhale, exhale, forward fold, tabletop, hands above the knees, squeezing back with the shoulders, taking it back down, inhale up and exhale into chair pose, regular chair pose, sitting here. I'm going to go ahead and add just a swoop right here, back and front and back and front. Now let's take our inhale up. Praying hands and rotate each way. Inhale up and rotate. Good. Right back up. We're going to go through that one more time. The whole thing. Inhale up. Exhale down. Bring it back up. Grab a wrist. Pull it over. Reach it up. Over. Take your back bend. Take your forward fold. Top. Down, moving into chair pose. Big inhale up. Exhale into chair pose. Take your sweep. Reach it back. Abs are in as you do this. On this one, let's come right back up. Praying hands. Rotate and rotate. Lifting up and tall and strong in between. To the other side. Reaching back up and forward fold. Good. We're going to step right back up and right back into our plank. Nice and tall. Plank, long legs, abs are in. Squeeze those glutes and thighs and slowly lower down all the way to your push up position down to the ground. Tuck the toes under, lift into upward dog. Inhale, exhale. All right, we're going to tuck those toes under. Go into downward dog. Pedal left feet right here. Pedal one and then the other. Pushing down. All right, we're going to uh, walk our hands up our, our feet up our hands, not the opposite. <laughs> Don't do what I said. Walk your feet up by the hands, up to the top of your mat, lift up tall, and we're gonna move into our warrior one. Taking one leg back, squaring your hips toward the front of your mat. Good, looks good. Pulling those abs in, dropping the shoulders. Warrior one right here, nice and strong. Now lift up tall, and we'll take it into warrior two. As you're doing warrior two, you want to slightly tuck those hips under, have your body be nice and long. Looks good, that's good. Looking right over those front fingers, hold that stretch, feel a little tension in the thighs. Now we're gonna drop that back hand and go into reverse warrior. So take the hand behind you, kind of straighten out those legs, pulling up overhead and feel the stretch. 
down the sides of your body, both sides actually. All right, we're gonna kind of cartwheel those hands to go into our triangle pose. So one up, one down, palms are both facing forward and just slide down. Now, if you come to the point where it makes you good, good flexibility, where it makes you stick your butt back, you would wanna stop at that place. because We wanna be just nice and straight like we're in a toaster right there, which is always a funny analogy, but it does make sense. Okay, now we're gonna take that hand that's in the air and place it where the other hand is and just we do reverse triangle. So this one always is a little hard and awkward for me, but I need the stretch. Feel it in your shoulders, feel it in your chest a bit. All right, we're gonna cartwheel those arms, so stand back up tall, bring your arms over until you're facing the back of your mat and you're in a lunge, but you're just gonna go back into your plank. So step that foot back, lower down, all the way to the ground in that push up, drop the toes under, lift the upper body into upward dog, just like you did. We're just gonna be doing this on the other leg. So let's tuck the toes, go into downward dog. Lift those hips a little bit, soften the knees, let your head be heavy and pedal those feet. Push one heel down and then the other. Stretching through. Good. Now walk the feet towards the hands. And come all the way up with a big inhale. We're going to exhale into warrior one. Whoop. <laughs> I was about to go into warrior two. Warrior one. So you've got the other leg in front this time. Yep. Good. Left leg in front. Lifting high, dropping those shoulders, pulling your abs in. Now lift up slightly and go into warrior two. Intentional drop of the shoulders. Uh-oh. Something happened on my screen. I'm hoping it didn't happen for you too, because I just lost you. I gotta see what's happening here. I'm not sure what's happening. Nothing uh, changed on my end. It didn't? No, we're good here. Okay. That was so weird. All of a sudden I got a thing that said I was out of Zoom and blah, blah, blah. Huh. Zoom appeared. Huh. <laughs> I still see you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see. We were in Warrior Two, right? Is that where we were? Yeah, okay, <laughs> so strange. Okay, so pull those um, abs in. Shoulders are dropped. And I want this to, uh, now we're going to do that reverse warrior. So drop that back hand behind. Holding right there. Oh, nice. Now we're going to take that, both hands, go into our triangle pose and slide down the body. Holding steady right there. Nice job. Feeling that tension. Now we're gonna reverse that triangle. So drop that top arm down where the bottom hand is and take the other hand back up. So the hands just reverse places. Holding here. My shoulders are always tight, so this is kind of a tight place for me. Now I'm gonna cartwheel those hands all the way over. Back at the front of my mat, taking that plank, stepping back, lowering down, tucking the toes, coming to upward dog. Good, shoulders down and back. Tuck the toes under and downward dog. Just pedal those feet here again. Pedal and pedal, push and push. One down and then the other. Uh, now let's bend both knees, lift the hips a little higher. Let the head be heavy, lift the abs. And we're gonna just go through that again. So I want you to step to the top of your mat, bring the hands up nice and tall. We're gonna keep them up and step back into warrior one. Drop the shoulders, square the hips, facing forward. Lift up tall, drop into warrior two. Good, now to reverse the warrior, drop the hand behind. 
looking overhead, feeling your stretch, and triangle pose. Take the hands, kind of cartwheel them over, start dropping down. I love your position right there. That looks so, so good. Feeling that good stretch. Now reverse that triangle, other hand goes up. Holding here and cartwheel those hands over. So you're facing the back of your mat, hands down, low lunge, take the foot back, hold your plank, slowly lower down, take the toes under, take it into upward dog. Inhale, exhale, and take the toes under, moving into downward dog. Let's pedal those feet again. Push them, relax through the bottom of the feet. Let the head be heavy. Now walk the feet up by the hands. We'll go through it on the other side. Lift up nice and tall. Inhale, exhale into warrior one by stepping back, dropping the shoulders, squaring the hips to the front. Inhale, exhale into warrior two. Good. Looks good, pulling back, drop that back hand. Take it to reverse warrior, feel that stretch. Cartwheel those hands into your triangle pose. Holding here, pulling back with that, uh, kind of with your uh, top hip. Pulls back, now drop the hands, reverse triangle. Feeling the stretch. And cartwheel the hands over to your high lunge and your plank and taking it down upward jog. We're gonna flow through that one more time. This time just a little bit quicker. So take it into downward dog and pedal the feet. Now let's just bend the knees, soften the hips, lift them up a little bit, pull the abs in, head is heavy, walk the feet in, big inhale, warrior one. As you step back, drop the shoulders. Inhale up, warrior two. Think about your form, even though we're moving a little quicker, take it to reverse warrior. Big stretch, moving into triangle pose. Holding, pulling back with the top hip. Reverse triangle, go in the other direction. Cartwheel the hands, taking it over, taking it into your high plank taking it down into your upward dog. Lifting up, tuck the toes, downward dog, soften the knees, walk the feet in toward the hands, lift up tall, inhale, exhale, warrior one. On the other side, inhale up, warrior two, pulling those abs in, pulling the hips back, reverse warrior, lifting up, Stretching triangle pose. Looking up at those hands, keeping the hips pulled back. Reverse triangle. Cartwheel those hands over. And let's hold here. Actually, we're going to stop right here for a moment. Just inhale and exhale. And drop that back knee down. Tuck that, those toes under. And feel and slightly press forward, feeling the extra stretch in your hip flexors right here. Just holding steady. If it's too much, you could take that front foot and inch it out a little bit. Now take, uh, you have your right foot in front. Take your right arm and just open it up. Open it up, pull back. Feel the stretch in your chest and shoulders. Now let that right knee go out just a little more so it feels the deepening of the stretch in the hips, opening up at the inner thigh. All right, we're gonna bring our hands back down, tuck those back toes under and just pull back. So I'll pick that hand up so you can see. I'm just stretching my hamstrings more. We stretched our hamstrings with all the forward fold. Now we're going a little deeper. Let's pull those toes toward us. See if you can take your left hand, reach it toward your right foot. 
and give a gentle pull up right here. Oh, yeah. Try to keep your toes facing straight toward the ceiling instead of doing that inversion or eversion. Now you can also feel this down the outside of your back of the arm that is reaching down the outside of that left side of the back. All right, we're gonna take it forward again. Take that other foot back, back into your high plank. Taking it all the way down. Drop the toes under, lifting up nice and tall. Tucking under, downward dog. Cut of those feet. And we're gonna take that left leg, step it up front into that low lunge. So we're just on the opposite side, low lunge. Hold that stretch, drop that back toe down, tuck it under. Just let that leg uh, push forward a bit before we do anything with the arms. Let the knee slightly come forward. It's not out here past my foot. It's just pressing a little bit more forward. Now I'm gonna take my left hand up and if it's too much, I can just inch my left foot away. I'm gonna take it up, look over my shoulder, good. Maybe you can let that left knee open up a bit. Yeah, nice, increasing the stretch in the hips right there, holding that place. Okay, we're gonna bring it back down, tuck the back toes under and come back in to our hamstring stretch. You may need to bring the foot back in slightly if it was too far out to the side. Take that right hand, grab, if it works, if it doesn't, you don't have to do that. Just reach over, yep, nice. Again, pulling the toes straight toward, back towards you and straight up toward the ceiling. Oh yeah, lots of stretch in the calf right here. Lots of stretch in the hamstring. Those stretches are going on. Now we're gonna come back front again, put our hands down, take your foot back into your high plank, lower down all the way, tuck the toes under, back into upward dog, and we're gonna come back into child's pose. In our child's pose, we're just gonna sway right and left, little shimmy right and left right here. And right back front into upward dog. We're just going to flow through this place a few times. This is another place of just releasing the back. As you go front and back, I want you to feel the stretch, especially in your child's pose position. Child's pose position easy for me to say. Maybe walk your fingers a little further forward. Feel a bigger stretch in your shoulders. Coming front and back. And on the next one, when you come to the back, we're gonna take our knees further apart, opening and come our feet nice and close together and come back into our hip stretch. Walk those fingers far forward until your forearms are resting on the mat. You're looking down at the mat. For me, this is a lot of stretch in my shoulders. Slightly uncomfortable, I have to say. And if you were doing this with your butt way high in the air, that is totally fine too. Um, that is a good stretch also. Okay, I'm gonna relax my forehead onto the mat. Relax my shoulders a little more. Inhale and exhale. Since I wanna take some time to open up my hips and I wanna help you open up your hips, I'm going to go ahead and do one more shoulder stretch in this position. So I'm going to take my right arm and reach it all the way up and then slide it as far under as I can, under the armpit, and then just relax. So I have my um, left forearm on the mat and my right, kind of my whole arm, but definitely my upper arm um, on the mat, palm, right palm facing up. Right side of the head on the mat. Just breathing right here. Good opening stretch of the hips and the shoulders. 
All right, I'm going to take this right hand, reach it back up. Take the left arm, reach it all the way up. Slide it under the left armpit and do the same thing on the other side. I want to let my arm that's overhead, let that forearm go to the mat. I've got the left side of my head on the mat. Just holding this stretch. Inhale and exhale. All right, coming back on all fours this time, bringing those knees back in. Gonna do a few hip circles. Circle to the right. And circle to the left. Good. Okay, we're gonna come into our upward dog again. Tuck those toes under one more time, taking it into downward dog. Pedal those feet, push and push. And take that right leg, lift it all the way up, and kick it back. Oh, yeah, feel that IT band open up, feel your hips open up. Lift that leg up again, and we're going to bring it into our pigeon pose. Take that leg across the body, however that feels good to you, good. See if you can take the back leg and tuck it under so the knees facing down, top of the foot's on the ground. I'm gonna actually come up on my fingertip, which puts a deeper stretch into my lower back. If it's too much, just go ahead and come back down to your hands. I'm gonna inhale and exhale. Now I'm gonna walk or lower down into the palm of my hands. Feel the stretch deepen in your thighs. Now lower down to my forearm. Maybe take that back leg another inch as I do. And then I'm gonna lower all the way down to my head on my hand. So I took my elbows out, kind of made a pillow for my head, and I'm just holding that stretch. Hold your stretch right here. Inhale and exhale. Let's do two more breaths right here. I have a verse I was going to share with us. I'll do that when we go to our other side of our pigeon pose. We were kind of talking before our session about the state of our world and the hurt and the sadness in our world. And it's hard to know what to do with all that. So for me, I have just decided that I just need to go to the person who does know. I don't know if he's really a person. <laughs> I need to go to God with all of that. Um, and just look at him because he really has and still is giving me the answers and giving all of us the answers for what's going on in our world when we can turn our eyes toward him. And he can give us peace at that same time. Okay, we're going to take our hands, tuck that back toe under, take the other leg long. Take it down, all the way down to the ground. Back into upward dog, nice and tall. Tuck the toes, downward dog, pedal those feet. Push one heel down and then the other. Now soften the knees, take the left leg up. Take it back, open up right here. Oh, feel that stretch. Now take it back again, bigger stretch, and bring the left leg across for pigeon pose. Inch that other leg back. Take your coming up on your fingertips. Hold it here. Inhale and exhale. Now we're gonna just come down to the palms of our hands. Feel your stretch deepen as you switch. Transition from your fingertips down to your palms. Now feel the stretch deepen as you come down to your elbows. Maybe you need to walk that foot back a little further. And then take your hands, elbows wide, and make a pillow for your head. So I was talking about um, looking to God and have a uh, a friend, Jen Welkin, who says, 
the heart cannot love what the mind does not know. And so she's talking to us about um, the way we can love God is by knowing him. And the way we know him is to read his word, talk to him, you know, spend the time to get to know him. And I love what he has said about um, the hurting in our world. This is in Isaiah 1, 17. He's given instruction to his people, and he says, learn to do right, seek justice, defend the oppressed, take up the cause of the fatherless, plead the case of the widow. I love how that starts. It says, learn to do right. So I don't have to know it all right now. We're always learning. We can learn how to seek justice for people. We can learn how to defend the oppressed. We can learn how to take up the cause of the fatherless and plead the case of the widow and just basically learn how to love people and love them well. So that's what I am trying to have my focus on as I, you know, try to adapt to what's going on in the world around us. All right, we're gonna come out of that pose. We're gonna bring our legs in front of us and shake them out and bring our feet in and slowly lower down. I like to transition with a little abdominal work right here as we take our stuff to our back. We do a slow lower down all the way. Then we're gonna do a big stretch like a pencil as tall as we can, reach and reach. And just take that right leg and pull it in nice and close to the chest. And switch legs, your hamstrings are nice and warm right now. Let's switch a few more times. We have warmed up our hamstrings, stretch them out, and we can deepen the stretch right here. One more time. Okay, let's pull that right thigh in again. And we're gonna take the right hand, place it inside the lower part of the right leg, take the left hand, keep it on the bone of the hip so it reminds our hips to stay on the ground. And we're gonna open up that right leg, just hold right here, increasing that stretch. Now we're going to bring it across the body, left hand above the right knee, pull it all the way across, nice and easy. Never on the knee, but above the knee. Good. Keeping both shoulders. You want both shoulders on the mat on this one. So take your opposite hand to your leg. There you go. Good. And you look the opposite direction of your legs. Keep that right leg on top. Let's do that number four stretch. So right ankle above the left knee, pull the left thigh into the chest. Take the right elbow slightly, push away on the right thigh, roll slightly to the left hip, and just hold that stretch. Now we're gonna take that right foot, over to the ground on the left side. And so this is similar to what you just did, but a slightly deeper stretch, looking over your right shoulder. Knees are best bent, stretching your hips and pull them to the other side. This is a great lower back stretch when your muscles are warm. So both knees are going to the right, looking over your left shoulder. Feeling your stretch right there. Now bring it back to the center. We're gonna uncross. We're gonna extend that left leg up, nice and tall, stretching the hamstring one more time, pulling in, left hand inside the lower left leg. Right arm goes out to the side, keeping your sits bones, both hips on the ground, both shoulders on the ground, opening up. Now take your right hand above the left knee, gently pull the left leg over to the side, keeping both shoulders on the mat 
and looking the opposite direction of your knee. Hold the stretch feeling in the outside of the hip. Now coming back to the center, left ankle crosses over the right knee. Pull the right thigh into the chest for that number four stretch. Roll slightly to the right hip. Take the left elbow, push away on the left thigh. Inhale, exhale. And gently let the legs flow back over toward the right side. Left foot is flat on the floor. Both knees are bent. Arms can go wide, looking over your left shoulder. And we'll reverse that, cross them over so we have the deeper back stretch. Knees both go to the left, look over your right. Feel the stretch in the lower back. All right, we're going to come back to the center. Take your hand, grab that big toe, and just rock right and left. Happy baby stretch. few more times, just releasing that back, and then take it back to your long pencil. Stretch as tall as you can. Inhale, and exhale. We're going to take it gently to the side, take it into our little fetus position, curling up, now pressing up into your seated pose. That's where we're going to finish today. So let's just take an open and close, round and open. One more time, open and round. And on our next inhale, let's go overhead. Big inhale and exhale. Nice job. Way to work. Great, we got to open up our hips some, stretch our lower back, even stretch our shoulders. So good. And you did a much more loose than when I started. <laughs> Yay, so glad.